Hello and welcome to Will Watches. This is Hawkeye episode one. So I think I'd be lying if I said this was like my most anticipated show for Marvel, but I'm still kind of looking forward to it and just hoping to see, you know, it's great with these shows that we can get some fleshed out world building for them, especially these more grounded shows like Falcon and the Winter Soldier that are set kind of on Earth and we can see some like post blip world building and things of that sort. I always look forward to that. And then we're getting introduced to Kate Bishop, who's going to be maybe the new Hawkeye or the Hawkeye for like the Young Avengers. That'll be really cool to learn a bit more about her character because I really don't know a lot. At first, I thought it was Clint's daughter, but that's obviously not the case because his name isn't Bishop. So there is there are things I'm excited for here. And of course, there's a little murmuring going around that Vincent D'Onofrio could be in this as Kingpin. And if he is, I do not want to miss out on seeing it, you know? I'm only going to do the first episode here. I'll get the second episode out whenever I can. And then I'll release them as soon as I can after I've seen them as they come out weekly, you know? So there won't be any early access or anything on Patreon, you know? But there will be full-length reactions on Patreon if you're interested or if you're interested in one week early access for the movie reactions, you could also check that out. So yeah, let's just jump into Hawkeye episode one. Oh, 2012. Is this the Battle of New York? I know this is mostly set in New York as well. This must be with Kate Bishop. Yeah, she's got archery medals and archery themed, very active climbing as well. I guess that's right. her skills aren't just the archery, are they? If she can climb, that's good as well. You shouldn't use Rob. How would I know what you're saying when I'm not there? <laughs> they weren't exactly being quiet, were they? Probably could have heard them without eavesdropping. I don't want to move. What would you do in a hurricane? I would do what I always do. Protect you. <laughs> okay, sweet. Is he going to die protecting her? So I'm guessing she doesn't have any power. She's just like very skilled like Clint is. <laughs> Smile. I'm glad this is focusing so much on her. I feel like something's gonna go wrong because it seems like it looked like New York they're in. So the rest of New York is gonna play some effect in their lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mommy, what's happening? This is a lovely place they're staying. <laughs> yeah, one of the big flying ones. So I'm guessing one of them lost their jobs like the dad and he just can't afford it anymore. But you definitely couldn't afford this without a job. <laughs> Are the parents okay? Or is she lost them? Oh, and Hawkeye saved her. Okay. Does he even know that he saved her like that? He was just fighting the Shatari, but it made such an impact on her. Let's go seeing it from another angle. Okay, so the mum's okay at least. What if they come back? Is so that what motivates her to start training? And the inspiration from Clint as well. I need a bow and arrow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, new intro, yeah. Is it going to be a Christmassy themed intro? Because I know the show is Christmas themed. I don't think um, they'd have Vincent D'Onofrio's name in the credits if he was actually in here yet. This is very much focused on Kate, even though the show is called Hawkeye, but it could be a passing of the mantle, you know? I sure she's got fencing training, martial arts training as well. You know, she's proficient in all of this. I was expecting the intro to be this long. A lot of the show intros have been kind of shorter, quick intros. Yeah, I've seen the climbing skills coming into use. I thought she was just trying to get into a house or apartment or something but it seems like she is she's up to something okay so she's got some people helping her as well she's not completely so low yes yeah, the dangly thing <laughs> she's gotta go hit it from below to hit the dangly bit and actually get that to move it's a tricky shot well she got the end of that Oh, hit the rope. <laughs> Is the whole bell going to fall or something? Fine. <laughs> yeah. 
How did her doing that cause that though? That that little weight is the whole building gonna hurt? Oh yeah, the Rogers musical. Are we actually gonna get to see the musical? Who is that supposed to be? Is that General Ross? And there's his family. <laughs> and I got Loki and some Shachari. <laughs> what are they gonna say about Clint then? They didn't even mention him. And they were talking about Ant-Man, Ant-Man it wasn't even in the Battle of 2012. Is it... He has PTSD of some sort? It seems like him remembering that. Did you turn your hearing aid off? Oh, they have given him the hearing aid, the hearing difficulties. So they are actually addressing that. And it gets recognized as well. Oh, no, you know, there's musicals. Do they have movies about the Avengers as well in universe and things like that as well? They must do. <laughs> Are actually going to say what caused his hearing loss or is it just, um, you know, all of the action and explosions and stuff or is there like a specific moment? Let's show mum what she's missing. Yeah, yeah I was just going to say where's the mum. I wonder how long post everyone coming back it, it is. How long has he been back with, the, with all the kids and the wife? I'm liking the, the Christmas setting, it's cool. And it's only like a month-ish till Christmas. Is the final episode going to release on Christmas? I know Christmas Day isn't a Wednesday. These are coming out every Wednesday. But it'll be very close, won't it? Oh, it's the same apartment. Well, you look amazing. Yeah, the mum looks a lot different. The dean said it had a bell and a clock. So what does the mum do to, be, to have this much money? I am almost getting the vibe that she could be a villain or something. Rich people think they're invincible, and you have always been both. So... <laughs> well, like, she could be a villain. Like, she had the right intentions. She wants to look after Kate, raise money for Kate, something like that. But she's doing shady stuff behind the scenes to get that done, perhaps. What's with all the swords, Mom? She said someone was visiting. Who is it? Jack. <laughs> new, new husband or boyfriend for the mum. Nice to see you again, Katie. Doesn't even get the name right. <laughs> What's with the swords, though? Does that guy have something to do with swords? Seems like a bit of a Chekhov's gun just showing that sword there. Long time with the kids. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You're actually having a really good time. We saw in Endgame he was training his daughter with a bow and arrow as well. I wonder how good his kids are. Because he's had five years without them as well. He has to make up for all of that lost time. And I'm wondering if there will be any consequences for everything he was doing when he was Ronin off in Japan and off in Mexico he was up to stuff with like the cartels and stuff as well and if all those people are coming back after the blip that there could be consequences of for that thank you Others, that's not necessary <laughs> he, he doesn't like the limelight it seems like he doesn't like getting recognized and it's like just like the doesn't like the attention you know uh, get back to work <laughs> she didn't wear a dress, she's wearing a suit. I guess that's more her vibe. Sorry, I'm not a waitress. You're the little bishop girl. Ah. You used to come to my brownstone for brunch. I never look that good in a tuxedo. I'd appreciate it if you wear something a little more ladylike for the weddings. What wedding? Yeah, no. the, the mum. Those secret little lovebirds. Yeah, of course. That was pretty obvious. <laughs> Seems like you won the jackpot. I'm not so sure. It's a bit weird, that's sort of insulting to her, to her mum almost. I'm wondering how much these characters are going to play a role later. Is that guy going to come up again? Or is he just there for that? I'm always suspicious of like the big rich figures. Her empire is built on a lie. Okay, what's all this then? There's some conflict going on here. They've both got powerful friends. So is Kate going to be caught up in all of this somehow? Mom, what was that about? Is that guy threatening you? I honestly, I, I have no idea. I'm not familiar with the comics, so I don't know if Armand is 
you know, anyone significant in the comics. Maybe he is. And maybe this Jack is as well. But I don't know, something about the sword, it just seemed off. Like, is he, was he raised as a fighter with a sword? Oh, she's going to pretend to be a waitress, yeah. <laughs> Some secret underground dealings, quite literally. It seems like it could be an art auction. We all know who loves an art auction. Things are about to get very... These two are in cahoots somehow. I'm here. <laughs> you see, that's the problem, Gary. You don't even know my name. It's not gonna work out. I quit. You can't quit. She's fast on her feet, quick thinking, you know? <laughs> to come up with that, you would have... Most people would have just froze on the spot. There's definitely some bigger plot going on here. The wreckage of the Avengers compound. Now you may recall. Oh yes, the Ronin sword. And his identity continues to remain. Oh, so they don't know that it was Clint. Two hundred thousand bit of better do I hear two fifty. We know Jack likes swords, so he might get it. Three hundred looking for three. Yeah. On a hat to go on day one. Are those two related? Canyon piece, the Ronin suit. Oh, his suit as well. Yeah, okay, so... Someone's trying to steal all of this. They might steal the sword and the suit for some reason. So someone's going to be impersonating Ronin, running around, causing chaos perhaps. And Clint and Kate might have to deal with that. Oh no, he's just going to take the sword. <laughs> okay. Are they after the artifacts or maybe it is just money? Because they know there's a lot of rich people here. To find a watch. Everything else is secondary. There's a watch that they're after. Why, why would a watch be so important to them? I can't think of any watches within the MCU that are like mystical or anything. Is she going to end up with the suit then? That'd be cool her impersonating Ronin. Oh, she's she just put it on. Is he going to recognize her? She didn't like put on a voice or anything and made direct eye contact. That might be quite easy to recognize. <laughs> yeah, the thing is the actual Ronin. I would have thought it would have broke by now. Usually, you know, with glasses in movies, they just shatter the second you hit someone with them. It's kind of cool seeing them not. I don't know if that's more accurate or not. Even though she's good, you can tell that she's kind of amateurish compared to other Avengers. <laughs> that was like an almost accidental Black Widow move. Surrounded by her sides now, yeah. That's a cool shot. Oh! <laughs> if she takes that takes that truck, she can get all of these items, whatever they are. The watch. I found it. The watch for Avengers Compound. Does it have a key in it? Is it like access to Avengers Compound in some way? I know Avengers Compound was like destroyed, but it could give them, ac it could, if it's like Tony's, it could give them access to something, or it could be like Tony's repulsor glove. <laughs> Bit unnecessary. Okay, we've seen that guy's face now. It seems like he's probably going to be a returning villain. It's a little late for TV, guys. I've got to pass. And he's going to see in the news that Ronin's back, perhaps? And then he'd be like, what's going on? It's amazing. The Ronin, the Isn't that awesome, Dad? Terrorized, organized... So he did a go against organized crime in New York as well. I don't know if Kingpin is actually going to be in this, but if he is, that he would hold a lot of bad blood against Ronin. And especially, I don't know, you know, there's a lot of things they could do with him being blipped away as well. Food, you want food, uh, of course. Uh I know the dog ha has kind of like a bigger role because he was on the poster as well, I'm pretty sure. He was like in some of the advertising material. And she goes straight back out into action. So did the dog swallow the watch? I wasn't quite sure I catch caught that. He must have, that's why they were chasing him, right? That's just what I assumed. Oh, she's in Armand's apartment. I thought she would be... She's breaking into her own. Oh, is that Armand there? So who's done that then? Could it be the Russians that are after him? Or is there something else going on? But now Ronian could get the blame for it. 
<laughs> Sneaking up in the background, that was cool. Hey, we got Is Clint gonna interfere here now? Are oh, you making it so tough on us, bro? Or is she gonna get out of this herself? I just assume because she was cornered like that, surrounded. Good way to show off her strength if she can handle those five guys all at once. Does she know how to hotwire a car? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that must be Clint. He's not in his Hawkeye gear, he's just in regular plain day clothing. And I'm just see that as a girl and be like, what? What's going on? You're a, you're a Hawkeye. Who the hell are you? Again, there, yeah, end with them meeting. That makes sense. Okay, so that was episode one of Hawkeye. That was focused a lot more on Kate than I was expecting, but I do like that because especially if she's going to become a successor for the Hawkeye mantle, we need to spend time, you know, setting her up so the audience can get to terms with it and believe it, you know. I know Hawkeye isn't exactly the most beloved of all of the Avengers, but when you're like selling a successor, the audience has to believe in the new successor as well, you know. So I am liking all of the focus that she is getting. It definitely seems like Jack and Armand, there was something going on there and with the mum as well, because she was in conflict with Armand a bit. So there seems to be something with the higher ups, with the rich people, kind of as you'd expect. Maybe they're heads of some gangs or, you know, Armand was saying he knows powerful people. So he knows people who are in gangs and things like that. I don't know exactly what this is going to revolve around. Maybe it is to do with the art dealing and all of the money there. Then, of course, there's this watch that was on the Avengers compound. I didn't recognize the watch. I don't know if that is something I should have recognized. I don't think so. The only watch of any significance I can think of is Tony's Repulsor watch that, like, transforms. I don't know... I don't think people would be that interested in that unless it housed some other technology like it let you gain access to something of Tony's. It was cool seeing Clint alongside his family again, because it has been like five years. And I'm wondering how much the family, you know, how much of a role they will actually have in the story. Are they just going to be in this first episode and then probably show up at the end? Or will they be returning throughout a bit as well? Is this going to be a kind of found family? But I don't really get that vibe because Kate still has her mum. But if her mum... If something happens, her mom ends up betraying her, becoming a villain somehow. I don't know, there is a chance that that could happen. If there is, I'm not really sure what the mom would be up to yet, but I am suspicious of her, especially after, you know, the argument with Armand, of course. I did like how they spent some time setting up why Kate is so proficient in everything, you know? She's got all of these black belts, she's got all of these awards from when she was a kid. It's not just kind of out of the blue, she's this amazing fighter that can take on all of these, like, trained Russian gangsters. She did struggle with them as well, which was kind of cool to see, like, obviously she beat them, but it wasn't exactly easy. And you could kind of just tell through the choreography a bit that she was a bit more amateurish than some of the other Avengers that we have seen, which was cool. It's kind of like this good bit of storytelling just through the physical action, you know? Now that Clint and Kate are introduced, I wonder where it goes from here because she has the watch as well. Maybe she can ask Clint about what this watch is, what the significance is. That's if she actually has the watch. I wasn't quite clear on that, but I'm pretty sure the dog swallowed it, right? So I'm wondering if Clint will give her any training, any advice. Maybe it will be the kind of classic reluctant master. And then eventually he comes around to her in the end, you know? And I did really like that they, they're addressing Clint losing his hearing. And I know Echo is supposed to be in this and... Echo is another canonically deaf character, so if they're committing to Clint losing his hearing, they'll probably do that with Echo as well, so it'll be cool to see how they interact. They've said Clint has a hearing aid. I don't know if he's learning any sign language or anything at the moment, but it would be cool if he was. I wonder if him and Makari would, from Eternals would ever interact in the MCU. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how long 
Clint is going to be sticking around in the MCU. I imagine now it'll probably be a less action-focused roles for him and more him just being there as a tutor because he's one of the only remaining Avengers that like maybe the younger generation can look up to a bit, you know, like in universe that aren't like Thor or Hulk who are off doing other things. He could be this kind of like mentor role for some, for the young Avengers, perhaps if, you know, it seems like that's what they're setting up with Kate Bishop, Isaiah Bradley. There's a lot of things there that are like pointing towards a young Avengers eventually. I'm not sure if that's been confirmed or not. If they're making like a show for young Avengers, I don't know yet. So I imagine like in the future, he'll fulfill this kind of more of a mentor type role. Okay, so I know obviously there's a lot of rumors that Kingpin is in this and then all of these kind of business dealings behind the scenes, talking about gangs, that's definitely reminding me a lot of things that could involve Kingpin. Maybe the dangerous people that Armand was talking about is Kingpin. That would be really cool. You know, there was an art dealership we've seen before. Kingpin loves his art. I was wondering, like, that would be a great way to reveal him if they did the rabbit in the snowstorm painting and just showed that. That would be really cool. And there's a lot of implications here with the blip. They haven't really addressed that that much in the show yet. But of course, we got a bit of the Clint, you know, spending time with his kids to make up for all of that lost time. And they addressed the Ronin stuff, obviously. But I'm wondering how the blip affected organized crime that would be cool to see you know maybe a gang disappeared because half of them went clint killed them then the rest the other half come back suddenly there's this like mismatched gang who are out for revenge against ronin perhaps that could be what's happened with this russian gang you know they could already have some bad blood even before what um kate did you know so i think that's everything i had to say i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe so you can keep up to date because episode two i'll get out whenever i can and the rest of the episodes will be out soon after maybe the day after they come out you know on disney plus so yeah thanks for watching bye